what's going on guys welcome to another video so today is different we are doing a google apps script tutorial and this tutorial is based on a comment from chin tran i hope i have your name pronounced correctly brother so the comment by chin tran is basically it's actually a challenge to me uh he's wondering whether there is a solution on how to get app sheet to keep only the most updated signature which is the image uh, png uh, so apparently by default whenever we update the signature in app sheet uh, basically it doesn't remove the old one uh, the old signature so over time the files will accumulate and definitely will it will take up some uh, space in your storage so good news for you there is a solution to it using google apps script and i will be showing you in a bit so without further ado let's check it out okay guys so based on the comment we will be doing an app script which will complement with uh, app sheet <clears throat> so um, as you can see i have a dummy booking table i have the usual id room number booking date start time and time booking status and signature so signature is where we will put our signature from app sheet okay so the script that i'm using today um, is basically um, the one that will look into your uh, spreadsheet which is mine is signature and booking table so what it does is it will start to look into the uh, signature um, column okay so before I begin, of course, I have set the variables. Here, later on, you can use your own spreadsheet ID. To find your spreadsheet ID, uh, you can use, uh, you can copy the ID from your spreadsheet URL as shown on screen. So just simply copy your ID and replace it here in spreadsheet ID. Okay. So in variable for sheet you can use uh, of course mine is booking so you can replace this with the name of your table uh, since mine is booking over here okay you can change this according to your name then of course later on it will look for the uh, column index where we will add the name of our column In my case is signature all right <clears throat> so once you have all that of course the next one would be the folder id variable so for folder id variable mine is this for your case head on to your drive and open up the um, folder that where all your signatures will be stored okay and same goes with the spreadsheet id simply copy the url for this particular folder and replace it uh sorry the id from the url and replace it here okay and that's all to it so you can save the script which i'll be sharing it in the description down below okay once you save it uh, of course we can use the triggers and these triggers can be either uh, by time say for example i add a new trigger so let's say we want to run the cleanup signatures function and of course the event source could be time driven and you can set it to check every hour or every day so since the uh, cleanup is not really essential for your operations you can set it every day okay and click on save 
So for first time, usually it will ask for um, what you call it permission. But since uh, this is okay, then it's fine. All right. So once you have this uh, script in order, okay, and you have all the tables ready. So now let's test this in app sheet. Okay. So just imagine for booking ID one. Okay. And I add a signature. Okay. I will use a number. Let's say one. So that's easy for us to see. Okay. So we have one. So for booking ID two, I'll be using two. Save. And for booking ID two three four two three four, I'm just going to use three, so it's easier to see. Okay, so we have three, we have two, and we have one. Okay, so now back in the Google Drive folder for where the signatures will be stored. Now you can see one, two, and three. Okay. Now, based on the comment, whenever there's an update in the signature, say for example, for signature one, I'm just going to use one A, okay? And for signature number two, let's say there is an update, two A. And for the third signature, same, similar, we'll do three A. Okay, so we have 3A, we have 2A, and we have 1A. However, once we do the update, we'll start to see the signatures, uh, all the signatures here, but we are now using 1A, 2A, and 3A. So we have um, the old signatures stored. Okay, now we want to delete this. Okay, uh, so of course, if we run the, uh, if we were to run this script, okay, when you save this script, either you can run it here or from the uh, spreadsheet itself, you can find the manual clean, clean up signatures. Okay, so I'm just going to run this one here. What it does it it will delete the old signatures, which is one, two, and three. Okay, clean now is complete. So let's refresh this. And there you have it. So now the old signatures are no longer here since the app is now using the latest one. Okay. So now this is a, a script that will help you to sort of Main, uh, main, do sort of uh, certain maintenance in your drive so that it won't utilize so many space and this will help to ensure that you are using the latest files in your Google Drive so I hope this helps so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to drop a like if you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so that you'll find more contents like this. And of course, do let me know what else you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And of course, the script can be found in the description down below. So basically, it's a link back to my website, arisazahar.com. And speaking of the script, you can modify this to your liking. It, it can either be signature or any other files related uh, in AppSheet. And of course, over time, we will have issues where AppSheet stores or Google Drive stores the old pictures or old files that we have uh, in the Google Drive. So it causes a lot of space to be taken. And please enjoy. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. So please take care. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.